Today is Thursday, November the 12th, and we're going to see some Fibonacci's in play. Now remember we set the Fibonacci for the S&P right at the, the high, not at the high, but at the closing high. And you can see that yesterday we came up to touch it. Today we didn't quite reach that point. There were sellers there ahead of it. And we've got the 8 EMA below it. Um, remember we've got this flat cloud here, so it's sort of telling us that we'll see some kind of a pullback. And uh, resistance is not the greatest. Or support rather is not like it was back here where you had a very deep cloud here you've got very thin cloud with two points here that can be easily three points that can be easily broken so we really have to be careful over the next few weeks um, apple pulled back only 35 cents uh, pulled back to but look i put this green line right at the low point of uh, the day today and where does that intersect with today's um, action or the ichimoku right on the cloud so it shows that the Chiku span came right down to the cloud surface and took a bounce up. So that explains the reversal there. Uh, our favorite stock of the moment, NEO, went absolutely ballistic today. But it went ballistic and it followed the Fibonacci's that we uh, um, drew some time ago. Remember we had this 200%. That's what we said as the top of a... Of, as we had a 100% line, then we saw the action at 200%. That confirmed that our Fibonacci's were accurate. Well, look what happened today. Um, we came back and we pulled down, pulled back to this 200%, just a little bit below, right at the open, and then we popped. And where did we go and stop? 238.2, played around there for maybe an hour, popped up to 250 perfectly for 15 minutes, dropped down to 38.2, pulled up to very close to the 250, and then ended up in between. So those Fibonacci's are deadly. Uh, they're perfect. And you can just see from the volume down here that traders, this is day trader action, day traders are playing the Fibonacci's. When we look at the daily chart, we can see that we did have big volume today. So either we had um, institutional investing going uh, players coming in, or we just had an awful lot of day traders. I would tend to think today wasn't, um, well, I think uh, one of the Chinese car manufacturers had good earnings. I thought that they all reported, but I didn't check. Um, it, could, it could have been an earnings thing, but take a look after the video. Um, or you probably already know and I should know. Caterpillar was down 21 cents, still playing around there. Home Depot, I don't see anything coming, any good news coming for Caterpillar for a while. Home Depot pulled down to bottom of the cloud, found its support and pulled back up. But look, we said that the Chiku Span was going to come out somewhere under the candles. Well, it certainly did. Um, it pretty much came out below the 50 EMA and finished the day or had its low of the day if we draw that green line there where did it have its low of the day look at that right on the 50 so it was the chiku span getting support on the trailing 50 ema that provided that bounce for caterpillar off of its low uh, shortly after the open because you can see that it opened uh, oh sorry not shortly after the, it opened here and it finished down here um Banks today, U.S. Bank down 2%, uh, Bank of America 2.5%, Goldman Sachs 3.6%, uh, big pullback. So all of the banks were down roughly uh, 1.5% to 2.5%. Uh, last one we'll take a look at here is, um, take a look at any more? No, we're not. Let's just take a quick look at the uh, at the McClellan oscillator and yesterday I told you that the McClellan oscillator would probably stay right above the uh, overbought mark well it didn't it fell just below the overbought mark and today with the action of decliners leading advancers by three to one the McClellan oscillator will in likelihood remember it's not a direct relationship to advancers and decliners, it's looking at two different moving averages, the 7% and the 15% uh, moving averages, and the difference between those two points. But um, we will have dropped a little bit more 
we are probably heading down now to test a neutral line, which we typically see.